Okay, this video is going to help you with evaluating a composite function when you see a composite function that's graphed out. How do you um, evaluate that just look by looking at the graph? So, for example, if we have a graph that looks like this, this is a composite function. You see that we've got y equals g of x, and we've also got y equals f of x. So, for example, if we want to find f of g of 1 on this graph, what we do is we always work from the inside out. So we say g of 1. First we want to find g of 1. g of 1, in this case, is going to be 4. Okay? So we know that g of 1 is 4. Now we want to find f of 4. So f of 4 is going to be on the f of x function. f of 4 is right here, which is negative 5. So we know that f of g of 1 is negative 5. Let's do it in green. Let's do another one. Let's do g of f of negative 1. So again, we're going to first find f of negative 1, we're going to go from the inside out. So f of negative 1, we go to the f function um, at x equals negative 1, and we see f of negative 1 here is 0. So we say f of negative 1 is 0. Now we want to find g of 0. So g of 0, so we go to where x equals 0 and look, we look for that on the g curve and we see g of 0 is 5. So we know that g of f of negative 1 is 5. What if we have f of f of 4? Let's do f of f of 4. So again, first thing we're going to do is work from the inside out. We need to find f of 4. So we go to the f curve, f of 4, x equals 4, f of 4 is negative 5. f of 4 is negative 5. Now we want to find g of negative, or not g, since this is f of f, now we want to find f of negative 5. f of negative 5 on the same f curve, oh, this function would not be defined because there is no value of negative 5, x equals negative 5 for this function. So this does not work. So you can come across that. That can happen from time to time. Um, what if we find, whoops, let's try this in lime green. Let's find g of g of 2. So again, we're going to find first find g of 2. So we go to the g curve, g of 2, go to x equals 2 on the g curve, and we see that g of 2 is 2. So now we need to find g of 2 again. And g of 2 again is 2. So we know that g of g of 2 is 2. So I hope you followed what we were doing here. Um, these kind of actually become fun after a little while once you get more comfortable with them. Um, they're pretty straightforward and simple. So I hope these, this video helps.